testing for molybdate featuring Taylor's K1805P. Who should use this kit? Molybdenum-based products are used in boiler and cooling towers to inhibit corrosion. In these aqueous systems, the molybdenum combines with oxygen to form molybdate. The molybdate is then absorbed onto the porous metal oxide surfaces where it reacts with the iron. This reaction produces an insoluble film of iron molybdate that protects the metal from other ions that induce corrosion. Molybdate is also effective in closed cooling water systems with microbiological activity, and unlike nitrite, it is not subject to bacterial degradation. When molybdenum is part of a water treatment program, it is important to maintain its concentration within the specified range to assure that other active ingredients in the program are present to properly treat the water. Taylor manufactures two drop test kits for determining molybdenum levels, K1805 and K1805P. For this video, we will be demonstrating the K1805P, which includes a powdered indicator for increased stability. The drop equivalency is one drop equals two, five, 20, or 50 parts per million molybdenum. The test should be run on a clean, clear sample. Filter out colloidal color and turbidity before beginning the test procedure. High concentrations of HEDP, greater than 30 parts per million, may cause positive interference. To prevent, test for interfering phosphonate, dilute the sample with DI water as necessary, and retest. Thiocarbamate based biocides may cause interference. To prevent, do not test while feeding thiocarbamates into the water system. Sodium nitrite levels greater than 800 parts per million may cause negative interference. To eliminate, dilute the sample with distilled, deionized, or molybdenum and nitrite free water and retest. Before beginning this or any other Taylor test, it is best to read the instructions through to the end. Familiarizing yourself with all the steps to come is particularly important if the test is new to you or if the kit has been newly purchased, as sometimes our procedures change. Rinse and fill a 25 milliliter sample tube to the 25 milliliter mark with distilled, deionized, or molybdenum-free tap water. Taylor Sample Sizer, shown here, is a great tool for getting accurate measurements every time. Fill the 3 milliliter pipette to the 2.5 milliliter mark with the water to be tested. If the sample is turbid, it must be filtered before proceeding with the test. Place this water in a second 25 milliliter sample tube and dilute to the 25 milliliter mark with distilled, deionized, or molybdenum free tap water. Using a 1 milliliter pipette, Add 1 milliliter of molybdenum buffer solution to each 25 milliliter sample tube. Swirl to mix. Using a separate 1 milliliter pipette, add 2.5 milliliters of molybdenum indicator solvent to the third 25 milliliter sample tube. And then add five level dippers of molybdenum indicator powder.
Swirl until the solution turns a clear red-orange color. Undissolved crystals will remain in the solvent powder mixture. Note, this indicator solution is usable for up to 24 hours after it's been prepared. Using a separate one milliliter pipette, add one milliliter of the solvent powder mixture to each sample tube, transferring as few undissolved crystals as possible. However, if transferred, crystals will not affect the test results. Swirl to mix. Taylor's optional kit for testing molybdenum, K1805, contains a prepared liquid indicator, R-0891, that has a shelf life of six months. For this demonstration, we're using Taylor's Speedster, which is sold separately, but you can also manually swirl the sample. Holding the bottle vertically, add molybdenum titrating solution dropwise to the sample tube containing the water sample, swirling and counting after each drop. Continue to add drops until the color matches the sample tube containing the blank, or until no further change in the color occurs. Multiply the number of drops of molybdenum titrating solution used by 20 and record the result as parts per million molybdenum. Note, to convert the result to molybdate, multiply the molybdenum reading by 1.7. To convert to sodium molybdate dehydrate, multiply by 2.52. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT.